Hello everyone, I'm Brahm Mithra. Welcome back. Hopefully everybody had a very good Black Friday. Um, this is recorded right after. <laughs> Last episode, I talked about rule changes and rule clarifications, and a lot of people were happy and surprised about the age uh, milestone and weapon proficiency and how it interacts with Nemesis. It's a really neat change. Uh, I know the living glossary, like the actual like rule part, the, the definition in the actual glossary still has the old way of listing it, but in the FAQ, it, it is updated. But yeah, a lot of people seemed uh, really happy about that. I am as well. It's a huge clarification. Uh, Dark Tastemaker is amazing. So glad that we have access to that. Um, I did a lot of videos since the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was the Black Friday. It was King of Best Holiday. So if you did not read the Black Friday for 2022 update, it is a great one. Um, simulator stuff. There's all kinds of cool stuff. There was a little live stream. I did, I did a video on Living Glossary. So hopefully you saw that video as well. As I said, I would be in between this episode and last. There's a video for about all the rules and stuff. Uh, 1.6 changes for expansions. All kinds of neat stuff for Kingdom Death. But, right now we have a white lion to take down. Hunt phase time. Everything's set up here. We're going out with... For starters, so first, we have the new Lion Beast guitars. We will be using that. Now, this will be going out with Alexis. She came out last time. She's going to be full rawhide with the monster grease because uh, she'll be tanking with the beast guitars. Last time we were tanking with the uh, the club, but now that we have the beast guitars. That should be fine. They're deadly, just in case you know we get like a crit priority target or something. So that'll be fine. Um, so she's got full rawhide. She's got two everywhere. She's going to have three evasion, one from deadly luck when she attacks with the guitars. Two Survival, three Insanity. Then we have Tasha. Tasha has got one Spear Proficiency, so she'll be using the Spear again right here. So we have Tasha. Four Survival, four Insanity, two Strength, two Evasion, one Speed, two Everywhere for her Armor. She's very good. Then we have Gemna this time. Be using a club. I still haven't made a female club mini. Or a female unarmored club. <laughs> I still have to do that. Um, so Gemna will have five insanity, two survival, one strength, one evasion, and one at the waist because she'll be wearing cloth. She has one club proficiency. And then finally the new survivor just born last time as we talked about. In case we get uh, a lot of understanding and some way of getting ammonia, that'd be great. So we've got Kindred going out who's got the two understanding. We just need one more fresh new survivor. One strength, one evasion, because we just took survival of the fittest, and just has the founding stone. So, typical still very early game builds. So, let's go, well I shouldn't say typical, we are doing, <laughs> always try to do something different for every season. So, club and guitars are different, but here we go. So, it is a monster event first, so we'll probably go with Alexis first. Yeah. There we go. Lion Sculpture, this is Roll of Rain, oh, okay. Cruelly arranged effigy stands before the survivors, decorated with small metal trinkets, human fingers, and stuffed with dried tall grass. Quarry Sculpture confounds the survivors. Survivors gauge at the arrangement, attempting to glean substance of the White Lion's bizarre inhuman intelligence. Each survivor gains one understanding and one insanity. This is perfect, except we roll random hunt event. I didn't really want to do that with our best survivor, <laughs> which is Alexis. Well, not best survivor, but... Uh, so that's actually going to trigger uh, Insight. Well, not Insight. It's going to awaken Kindred. So we're going to give everybody else one understanding. One understanding. Everybody will go up one Insanity. So Alexis goes to four Insanity. Tasha will go to five Insanity. Gemna will go to six Insanity. And Kindred gains in insanity. All right, now I did not have uh, stuff ready for this. 
So let me get stuff ready. We're going to awake with Kindred. So let's go ahead, roll, is it 1d10? Yeah, it's going to do 1d10. Understanding we are a 10 on the hunt phase. That doesn't seem to matter. Gain one permanent evasion and champion's right for understanding. So one permanent evasion and champion's right, which is absolutely amazing. So that will just be so perfect. Going to two evasion now because of that. Wow. Okay, so Kindred's goes up to two evasion. Um, and then we're going to draw a pattern card here as well because we triggered a wake. This was another clarification of how patterns work. So here we go. Uh, <laughs> it just, uh, taunts me. Telsoral Tech ITAC. So perfect. Or Telseric ITAC. Just absolutely just perfect. Okay, great. It's actually a little bit better than um, was originally thought, but that's okay. There's been some clarifications on Telseric ITAC. So uh, that's that. Now we roll a random hunt event. So let's go ahead, roll a random hunt event still from this. Going with 25. So we have Titans in the Dark. So, um, an ear-splitting bellow marks the passage of a truly titanic beast. All non-deaf non survivors suffer monster-level brain event damage, which would be one. Survivors cower on the ground, lying as flat as possible and hoping they are simply too small to be worth eating. Each survivor rolls 1d10. Lowest scoring survivor or survivors becomes a straggler. If any survivor has noisy gear, minus two is their roll. So, um, let's see. Everyone's going to take one brain damage. It's fine, so everyone's just going to go back down to what they were. <laughs> we just gained that. So back down to five, back down to four. Loses the one they just got, back down to three. Okay, let's go ahead now, roll for Alexis. That's going to be a ten. Let's go ahead and roll for Tasha. It's going to also be a 10. Let's go ahead and roll for Gemna. That's going to be a 9. And Kindred. That's also going to be a 9. I cannot believe that I tied with 9s. <laughs> okay. Uh, yep, so there's going to be two stragglers. That sucks. Okay, so first is Gemna. A 5. So... Clamping Shaws barely nip you to a random hit location. We suffer one damage. So Gemna's got no armor. So it's going to be a light wound to the head for Gemna. Okay, that sucks. Light wound to the head for Gemna. And Kindred. I think that's going to be the same thing. Six. Yeah, it's going to be the same thing. Hopefully we don't also get head. Body. That's a light... Or no, it's... It's a light wound to the body, heavy to the head. What am I talking about? Heavy to the head. All right, that is now the end of this card. What a card that was. Okay, that was Alexis. Now let's go with Tasha, who's got the spear. And scratching grounds. It's not the one we wanted, but I mean, I can't really expect to get free ammonia. Claws mark the ground. Survivors may choose to investigate. Each survivor that investigates gains plus one courage and rolls on the table. Okay. Let's go ahead now. Everyone's going to gain plus one courage and we're all going to roll on the table. So, uh, let's all gain that plus one courage. All right. We're all going to roll on the table now. Here we go. First is Alexis. This is seven. Nothing. Uh, Tasha. A one. Probably not great. It's the hands, right? Uh, sifting through the rubble, snow crashes as far as hands. As far as suffers one event damage to the arms. Okay, that comes down to one for the arms for Tasha. Next we have Gemna. Another nothing. And Kindred. Uh, more nothing. So, it sucks. 
Okay, uh, now we're just going to have a random hunt event, so let's just go with Gemna. Random hunt event. 35. So, 35 is going to be... Broken Lantern Oven. Survivors come across the shattered ruins of a small settlement. Ashen corpses dot the ruins, disintegrated at the slightest touch. An extinguished lantern oven stands intact at the center of the settlement. The event revealer rolls 1d10 and adds their understanding. Okay, which is going to be 1, because this was... No. Yeah, 1, because this was Tasha. No, it wasn't. This was Gemna. 1 for Gemna, either way. So 1 for Gemna. The results of 5 plus. Gain the lantern oven innovation. Uh, uh huh. Okay. That's going to not be the lantern of an innovation for us. But we'll see what happens if I roll 5 plus. The settlement already has the innovation. The revealer harvests a broken lantern, raising resources and remains. The settlement has Song of the Brave. The group may nominate a brave survivor to investigate the ruins of the settlement. They gain plus one courage. Uh, we do not have Song of the Brave. Okay. But we get to roll on a 5 plus, we get lantern oven. So that is definitely a 5 plus. Uh, I'm going to assume we get Radiant Oven. Let's start the showdown now with Kindred. Boop. We don't have any, we don't have Song of Brave, so I can't roll anymore. Uh, we got the 5 plus. It's great. If I do get it, that's awesome. Hopefully I do. Start the showdown. Tall grass, two other random. Oops. Ah. Two other random terrain. So I already pulled tall grass. Nightmare tree, canthus plants. So, there we go. Nightmare tree, canthus plants. I'll get these set up. Tall grass. All right. So, let me set up for the showdown. And here we are set up for the showdown. Now, first off, with lion, we've got um, a lot of terrain, like all around. There's a nightmare tree, or, yeah, nightmare tree, and then we've got uh, tall grass. So we've got a lot of stuff all just right next to us, but starting off, Lion's turn. Okay, I hate this card. I hate that this is the first card, because I have some... Random threat, in field of view. That's everybody. No target sniffs. Monster stares down its prey. Turn to face target. On uh, a roll of 1d10, result of 4+, plus. target suffers 1 brain damage and is knocked down. Okay. Here we go, random target. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's going to be actually going to be Alexis, which is good, the tank. So then, uh, result of four plus target suffers brain damage and is knocked down. That's definitely a four plus. So monster level brain damage. Uh, which is going to bring her down to two. She's knocked down, but we're just going to encourage her, like, literally right away. Um, yeah, so we're just going to do that, like, literally right away, like I said. <laughs> so we're going to do it with... Who are we going to do? We're going to do it with Tasha. Because she's got full rawhide, so... Tasha, with the spear, is going to encourage and see if she gets it back. Four plus, she does not get it back, so her survival comes down to three. Okay, but now she's encouraged. Oops. So let's go ahead and um, one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, five, I guess. Yeah. So this is with Tasha. So speed three with the king spear um yeah speed three with king spear let's go ahead gonna hit on a six plus um it's fine that we're not like it's fine that we're adjacent i don't really mind that we're adjacent i guess i probably should have no it's fine that we're adjacent oh no because she has a club she can't really move anyway so 
it's we should go here. I was worried that I was going to get in her way or then like one, two, three, like she would have to go there. But she's got cumbersome weapons, so we don't have to worry about it. She can't do anything. So yeah, let's attack from here and that'll be better. Okay, so three speed now uh, hitting on a six plus. Okay, only one hit. Super great. Yeah, strange hand. Okay, we got three strength. Plus two strength to a toughness of eight. So three strength, two strength is five. So three plus to wound. It's not a critical, but it's okay. Uh, it's not a failure. So it's one wound. Oop. Okay. Now I can't really get there. Uh, so we did wound with uh, the spear now. So let me just remember that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna attack with the... Oh no, this person does not... This person can just go here and do this for now because I don't need to wound with them. They can't... They're not, their kindred's brand new. has no age. So I don't need to wound with Fizz and Tooth. Not necessarily important. So we're just gonna search the Nightmare Tree then. Um, here we go. Seven. What do we get? Uh, find a broken lantern. Basic resource. Okay. Broken lantern, basic resource. Which does come out of the deck. So, broken lantern, basic resource. It's good to pull this out. There we go. So we got this from the tree. Oops, I'll show that. Forgot to grab this. So we got a seven. Six plus broken lantern. So we can only use that once per survivor. So we pull the Broken Lantern out, which is great. Uh, that's the end of his turn. I can't really... So what I'm going to do is go one, two, three to get to here. Because she's got Cumbersome, so she can't do anything. And then one, two, or... To get to here, I guess. Right? Yeah. And then I'll go here. And hopefully the monster will target in facing which would be great. And then I can try to hit with the club. So now we will attack with the Beast Guitar with Alexis. So two speed hitting on seven plus for the Beast Guitar. Uh, it's going to be one hit. It's actually on a perfect hit, but we don't get anything yet. Got to be a guitar. Yeah. Okay. This is on a failure basic attack or basic action. So we fail on a... Three, or we wound on a four plus, fail on a three or lower. So, because the Lion Guitar has three strength, Alexis has one strength, makes her four, toughness of eight, wounding on a four, critting on a nine, because the Beast Guitars are deadly. Okay, that is a failure, so we're going to get basic attacked. Great. Basic attack. It's going to be two speed, hitting on a two plus. Alexis has three evasion, so it's on a five plus. Two misses. Now, let's hope that we just get attacked again, Alexis, and I'll... Yeah. A uh, random survivor. Hmm, man, really? Random survivor? In range, so not kindred. So the other three are in range, which is not great. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten is a reroll. Uh, well, it's, it's fine still. doesn't move. Okay. Because it was a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it doesn't move. It's attacking uh, Gemna for 2 speed. So here we go. 2 speed. Uh, she's got 1 evasion. So 2 speed hitting on a 3 plus. It's going to be 2 hits. And then bleed 1. So there's nothing I can do about gain the bleed one's going to happen because it's going to be an after damage. Nothing I can do. She's going to take damage. Let's see which one she's going to dodge. Hopefully dodging ahead. Uh, how much damage does this do? One damage? That's fine. So we'll dodge the body, I guess. Take the one damage to the arms. So it's going to be a light arm injury. There we go. All right. Great, now she can attack with club and we hope we wound. So, 
Attacking with the club, which is two speed, accuracy, six plus. Uh, it's one hit. Just need one wound to get this club proficiency. Yeah. Uh, okay, not bad. Uh, Gemna has one strength. Bone Club has five strength. So, five plus her one is six. She wounds on a two plus. It's a wound. So she also now has wounded with club. We're getting more club proficiency. It's one wound. All right. Now, see if we can wrap this up and get our guitar, our guitar in. Uh, well, we won't move with Katar first. We'll go one, two, three to go here and attack with Tasha now with the speed of three for the spear. So speed three. Spear hits on, what was it? Six plus. Okay. Again, only one hit. Yeah. Okay, this is going to be a wound reaction. I think she wounds pretty likely, right? She's going to wound on a three plus, so it's probably going to be a wound. It is indeed a wound. If the attacker has three understanding, sound of the cracking ribs is encouraging and the attacker gains one survival. Does not have... I forgot to go down. Uh, spending the survival to dodge brought Gemina down to one. So that's the wound. She does not have three. Okay. Um, now let's attack with the Katars. Okay. Two speed hitting on seven plus. Double miss. It's okay. It's just fine. Kindred. Gonna go here. Gonna go with Acanthus plants. See what's going on for you. Acanthus. Here we go. Kindred. A four. What do you got? Find nothing. Okay. It's fine. Okay. Found nothing. All right. Lion's turn. Yeah. Closest survivor with the most bleed tokens. Okay. So we're gonna target Alexis. Because she has the most bleed. Can't believe I messed this up last time. Don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> so it's going to be two speed. Um, right? Yeah, two speed. She has three evasion. So it's going to be two speed, five plus. Double miss. Very nice. Okay. Let's see another lion now. Let's go again with the spear. Three speed with the spear. Here we go. Hitting on six plus. Uh, it's two hits this time at least. No more of this one hit nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, we'll go the failure first because I don't think that's likely to happen. So failure first. So the failure is going to be on a three plus. So... Not super likely to happen. Probably with my luck will probably happen, but let's see. Okay, that's not a critical, but um, it is a wound. So it's not a failure. It is a wound. That's done. This one's on a wound now. So same thing. Three plus. It's another wound. So what happens to us? Uh, snarling... The monster swats at its attacker. Attacker suffers one brain damage, then perform basic action. Okay, not super great because it's going to move. So I won't be able to get it with Cumbersome now. But it does a wound. It's going to move. Whoop. Let's get the uh, basic attack. Here we go. Basic action. Uh, this is... Tasha has two evasion. So it's going to be two speed, four plus. That's two hits. She can't dodge or do anything about it, but that's okay. She's still got full armor, pretty much. Except for her hands. <laughs> so she takes one to her hands, but that's okay. And then one to her feet. But, like I said, she pretty much had full armor, so it's okay. Uh, that was reaction. Now, can't do anything with cumbersome. Um, I guess I just move here and then hope I'll be able to do the attack with the cumbersome weapon next. All right, so attacking with the lion guitars, two speed, um, seven plus to hit. It's double miss. I think she double missed last time. 
All right. That is it. Um, I think I can move to try for this other cannabis plant. Or one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're just going to go for this other cannabis plant. Thought maybe I'd be able to get it with the cumbersome person. That's why I put it over here. I didn't know he was just not going to move his first turn. Okay. Lion's turn. Combo claw. Closest threat. Facing. In range. Okay. It's just going to be Tasha. No big deal. Closest threat. Facing. In range. So. Here we go. Combo claw. Two speed. Four plus. She's got two evasion. So it's a two speed. Six plus. It's going to be one hit, but we can dodge. So Tasha will dodge. She comes down to two survival. All right. And then if this attack deals damage more than once, it did not do any damage, actually. So uh, let's see if we get our survival back on a six plus. We do not. So yeah, she's down to two survival. Fair enough. Okay. Let's go with the cumbersome weapon while he's standing there. Bone club, two speed, six plus. It's two hits. Yeah. Yeah. Double failure. So, they're both going to do the same exact thing, it looks like. All right. Same exact thing, it looks like. Um, here we go. First, first attempt. Five. Plus one strength is six. So on a two plus, Gemna will wound with the club. It's a three. It's not a failure. So, no, does one wound. Next. Two plus. Whoo! A two, but it's a two plus. So, another wound. Let's go ahead and shuffle these up. Alright. Three speed now with the spear. Going to there. Three speed with the spear. Uh, it's going to be two hits, because we need a six plus. So two hits. What? What? Okay. We'll put the one that does nothing on top. Then there's, another, then there's a failure reaction below it. So three speed plus two strength is five. So wounding on a three plus. That's eight. No criticals. I mean, we're no, we've got no criticals. <laughs> this is not necessarily great here. I would have liked to get more... Uh, criticals. All right, here we go. Uh, what I say? A three plus? So three strength plus two is five. Yeah, three plus to wound. Another eight. Again, no critical, but it's not a failure. So uh, he's got two wounds left. The Qatar person could kill them or die trying. No, it's unlikely that she'll die. So we're just going to attack into a two speed. Uh, what did I need? Seven plus. So I've only got six. So I've only got one. This is the trap. Nope. It's prowl. I mean, it's going to start being the trap soon here. So, three strength for the Katars. One natural strength from Alexis is a four. So, four plus and a nine to critical. Not a critical, but it is a wound. So, he's down to basic action only. Um, wish I had Surge or something. We'll just go here. Try to get this Acanthus plant. Here we go. Canthus plant. Two. What is that? Something bites you. Suffer one arm damage. Okay. So that's the end of the Canthus plants. I was bitten. Uh, Kindred suffers a light arm. All right. Last one. Basic attack for the lion. Uh, closest survivor in field of view. I'm going to target uh, Alexis. So. Two speed, hitting on two plus, Lexus has three evasion. Here we go. So five plus. Nothing, one and two, okay. Um, it's just, I mean, go with the cumbersome weapon. Two speed, six plus, it's the most likely to wound. I did not want to draw two cards. So two speed, six plus, did not want to draw two cards. I don't think it would have mattered if it was a top card. So no matter what I would have done, I was getting it. <sighs> All right. Clever ploy. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, no big deal. Uh, trap. The Oops. 
don't know why I'm shuffling this right now. The attacker is called the White Lion's Ruse. Attacker is doomed. Perform basic action targeting the attacker. Okay. Perform basic action targeting the attacker. So we're just going to put this back in here. Okay, let's shuffle up again. Okay. Basic action targeting the attacker, which is, uh, who was it? It's Gemna. Two speed, she has one evasion, two speed, three strength, or, yeah, well, three plus is what I meant to say. So that misses. It's going to be one hit. We'll see where she takes it. Uh, one to the head, which is not good. Oh, that's not good. She can't dodge because she's doomed. Are you kidding? This is this is really going to be... This is insane. Uh, why does this always happen to me? So that's a severe head injury. Why does this always happen? Uh, it's a 1 to 4 to die, and then we use a reroll already. Okay, a 10 is not death. Uh, I don't know where my chart is. Here it is. Uh, 10 is not death. 10 is destroyed tooth. If you have three courage, she does not. Uh, you spit out the tooth. Otherwise, blow since you sprawling, you were knocked down. Fine. Knocked down. Alright. Uh, I only need to hit once, so I guess we'll attack now with the high speed person. So, King Spear, it's going to be 3 speed, because, again, Tasha has plus 1 speed. So 3 speed, hitting on a 6 plus. 2 hits. So, just don't be the trap. I can't believe this. What, are you kidding me? Okay. Boo. Are you, okay. Basic attack. I can't believe this. This thing's down to 1 health. What is going on? Okay, um, Tasha, two evasion. So two speed, four plus. That's going to be two hits. Okay, um, two hits to where? Tasha's still pretty good. Watch them both be to the arms or something. One is to the arms. The other one's to the waist. So that's a light injury on the arms. One to the waist, so she's down to one on the waist. Okay, uh, let's shuffle this again. This is crazy. We will go with the Qatar person now. Okay, Qatar person. Two speed, hitting on seven plus. That's two hits. Please, don't draw the trap. Thank you. Okay, first one is a no reaction. Um, so, she's got one, Oxus has one strength. Katars have three strength. That's four, so a four plus to wound. It's a critical. Um, doesn't matter. Can I get anything from this? Doesn't matter. Watch it be a 10 plus. 9. Okay. Doesn't matter. <laughs> There's a last wound anyway. Okay. There. Dead. So everybody, everybody's wounded. Everyone's going to get their proficiency. Let's go ahead and mark that off. Courage is going to gain age 1. Or no. 1 hunt experience. Not age 1. Gemini is going to gain another hunt experience. Hunt experience for Tasha. Alexis is going to gain age 1 right now and take Qatar and gain her proficiency. All right, uh, we'll roll for her age one in the settlement. So Alexis will age one. Now, let's get our rewards, which will be four White Lion resources, which is not super great here because I was kind of hoping, you know, to get more. Cat Eye Circlet is pretty much all we really want now. We're going to have quite a busy settlement phase, I think. Yeah, I think we're going to have uh, Hangman and Tyrant and stuff, so. Lion Claw, Great Cat Bone, Shimmering Hide, Lion Testes. Oh my gosh. Well, at least the hide is too... At least the Shimmering Mane is too hide. So, here we go. 
for basic now. Monster hide. Question, question, question. Perfect organ and a love juice. It's great. Uh, it is what it is. That I mean, we won. It was just annoying. Double trap at the end on the last hit. That was kind of annoying. So, perfect. We've got club. Two proficiency on club now. Two proficiency on spear. One proficiency on guitar. Working towards our specializations. So amazing. So, with that, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next Lantern year.